Hi, this is the Distributed Database System Concept Lesson. This is the outline of this lesson. Distributed Computing System Consists of several processing sites or nodes interconnected by a computer network. Nodes cooperate in performing certain tasks. Partitions large task into smaller tasks for efficient solving. Whereby, big data technologies. Combine distributed and database technologies. Deal with mining vast amounts of data. What constitutes a distributed database? Connection of database nodes over computer network. Logical interrelation of the connected databases. Possible absence of homogeneity among connected nodes. Distributed Database Management System, DDBMS, is a software system that manages a distributed database. In this lesson, there are some terms that you need to familiarize with. Local Area Network is the hubs or cables connect sites. Long Haul or Wide Area Network is the telephone lines, cables, wireless, or satellite connections. Network topology defines communication path. Transparency is hiding implementation details from the end user. The diagram in the slide shows the data distribution and replication among distributed databases. There are number types of transparency in distributed database. Data organization transparency consists of location transparency. The use of names to identify network resources, rather than their actual location. Naming transparency. Unique name is provided for each object in the database. Replication transparency. Replication transparency ensures that replication of databases are hidden from the users. It enables users to query upon a table as if only a single copy of the table exists. Fragmentation transparency Hides the fact that the table the user is querying on is actually a fragment or union of some fragments, it consists of two. Horizontal fragmentation Vertical fragmentation Design transparency and Execution transparency Availability Is the probability that the system is continuously available during a time interval. Reliability is the probability that the system is running, not down, at a certain time point. Both directly related to faults, errors, and failures. Fault-tolerant approaches. Horizontal scalability, scaling out. Expanding the number of nodes in a distributed system. Vertical scalability. Expanding capacity of the individual nodes. Partition Tolerance System should have the capacity to continue operating while the network is partitioned. Autonomy in Distributed Database Determines extent to which individual nodes can operate independently. Design Autonomy Independence of data model usage and transaction management techniques among nodes. Communication Autonomy Determines the extent to which each node can decide on sharing information with other nodes. Execution autonomy. Independence of users to act as they please. Distributed databases offered several advantages such as. Improved ease and flexibility of application development. Distributed databases allows development at geographically dispersed sites. Increased availability as it isolates faults to their site of origin. Improved performance by localizing data. Easier expansion via scalability. It is easier than in non-distributed systems. Fragments. Logical units of the database. Horizontal fragmentation, sharding. Horizontal fragment or shard of a relation is a subset of the tuples in that relation. Can be specified by condition on one or more attributes or by some other method. Groups rows to create subsets of tuples. Each subset has a certain logical meaning. Vertical fragmentation. 
divides a relation vertically by columns. Keeps only certain attributes of the relation. Complete horizontal fragmentation. Apply union operation to the fragments to reconstruct relation. Complete vertical fragmentation. Apply outer union or full outer join operation to reconstruct relation. Mixed, hybrid, fragmentation. Combination of horizontal and vertical fragmentations. Fragmentation schema. Defines a set of fragments that includes all attributes and tuples in the database. Allocation schema. Describes the allocation of fragments to nodes of the DDBS. Horizontal fragmentation. A table is partitioned along its tuples is performed based on some predicate forward slash condition. Consist of a subset of the tuples of a relation. Defined using selection operation of relational algebra. For example, we partition the employee table based on the city. The first is select all attributes from employee table where the city is New York. And the second one is select all attributes from employee table where the city is Los Angeles. This is an example of vertical fragmentation. Each site may not need all the attributes of a relation. Thus we use vertical fragmentation which divides a relation vertically by columns. It is a subset of a relation which is created by a subset of columns. A vertical fragmentation, VF, of a relation produces fragments R1, R2, Rn, each of which contains subset of attributes of R and park of R. For example, for VF1, select account number, name and branch from customer table. For VF2 only two attributes selected, account number and balance from customer table. A replicated distributed database. The whole database is replicated at every site in distributed system. It can improve availability remarkably. However, update operations can be slow. In non-redundant allocation, no replication. Each fragment is stored at exactly one site. In partial replication. Some fragments are replicated, and others are not. It is defined by replication schema. In data allocation or data distribution. Each fragment assigned to a particular site in the distributed system. The choices depend on performance and availability goals of the system. We now consider an example of fragmenting and distributing the company database in figures as shown in the slide. Suppose that the company has three computer sites one for each current department. Sites 2 and 3 are for departments 5 and 4, respectively. At each of these sites, we expect frequent access to the employee and project information for the employees who work in that department and the projects controlled by that department. Further. We assume that these sites mainly access the name, SSN, salary, and super underscore SSN attributes of employee.